Hey guys how are you I am back with another video for you guys and in this video I want to tell you about the disabled or password forgotten iPhone iPad and iPod and I will also teach you that how you can fix your iOS devices if you have forgot your passcodes or if your iOS device is stuck on disabled screen due to entering wrong passcodes so before going ahead to the tutorial there are some points that I want to to tell you is that when our iOS device is stuck on disabled screen or you forgot your iOS device passcode so in this case you can easily fix your iOS device but unfortunately you cannot retrieve your iOS data you will lose all of your photos contacts everything which is on the iPhone there is actually no way to get the data you will lose all of your phone's data if you have previously created any backup of your data in your computer or in your iCloud account so that will be an only option for you to recover your data otherwise you are unlucky and if your iOS device stuck on disabled screen or you forgot your passcode so in this case you cannot fix your iOS device without having a PC you need a computer for that in order to fix if you don't have it you can ask your friend for helping you out so now let's get started to the tutorial and show you guys that how you can fix your iPhone so there are a lot of methods to fix your iOS devices when it is disabled but the most recommended method to fix your iPhone is using the iTunes software by Apple which is totally free software it is available in Windows and Mac both if the iTunes not working for you so there are also a lot of other third party softwares online to fix your iOS devices and in this video i'm going to use pass fab which will work as same as itunes and it is a paid software but don't worry i'm also giving free license to you guys a giveaway of pass fab which you can get by visiting the link in the description of this video anyways so today i will show you both of these two methods in this video to fix the disabled or passcode forgotten ios devices so let's start with the first one which is the itunes method so all you need is to open your browser and visit itunes.com to download the itunes you need to install this itunes software on your computer so you just have to tap on the get button to install it i have already installed it in my computer once you install the itunes in your pc open it up now you need to connect your ios device to your computer but the computer will not detect your ios device so you need to put your ios device into the recovery mode first every ios device has different method to put it into the recovery mode so don't you worry about it i have a guide for you if you have an iPhone 8 and newer devices like iPhone 10, iPhone XS, iPhone XR or iPhone 11, you have to follow these steps to put your iPhone into the recovery mode. If you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, you have to follow these steps to put your iPhone into the recovery mode. If you have an older iPhones, so you will need to follow these steps to put it into the recovery mode. If you have iPad or iPod, please see the description of this video for a guide to put them into the recovery mode. It is just a volume and harm button trick for entering the iOS device into the recovery mode. Once you enter your device into the recovery mode, the computer will detect your iOS device. Now you may see this pop up on iTunes. Now just close it and you need to tap on the restore button. Now tap on the restore button and update button now tap on next tap on agree now the itunes will going to download the ios firmware package before restoring your iphone you must have a good internet connection for faster download 
So keep your iOS device connected with the computer and once the download will complete, the iTunes will start restoring and repairing your iPhone automatically. As you can see, the iTunes has started the repairing process to fix my iPhone. You can see the loading bar on the top of the iTunes. Now this process will take 7 to 10 minutes. Uh, keep your iOS device connected with the computer. Do not disconnect the internet also from the computer as it collects some information during the restore process from the Apple servers. If you are having any kind of iTunes error, so make sure that you have the latest version of iTunes installed on your PC or try to connect the iPhone on different USB ports of your computer or change the USB cable. I recommend you to use original Apple Lightning data cable to avoid any kind of errors. Now you have to wait for it to complete. So guys, after the restoring process, you will see the hello screen on your iOS device. Now you need to set up your iOS device, select a language, country, set the new passcode and all of these things. And you can see my iOS device has fixed using iTunes. I can now use my iPhone. This is how you can easily repair your iOS device. It is very simple. If you are having trouble in fixing your iPhone using the iTunes, now let's move on to the second method to fix the iOS device. If your iPhone is not fixed using the iTunes, so try again fixing your iOS device using the PassFab software. Just visit this website to download the PassFab on your PC. You will find the link in the description down below. So this third-party software will also help you to unlock the disabled or passcode forgotten iOS devices instantly in a single click. This tool is available in Windows and Mac both. You can go ahead, download and install it. After installation, open it up. You will see this screen. Now tap on unlock passcode option. It can also help you unlock the Apple ID, but right now it does not support for latest iOS versions. All right, forget about it. Now tap on start button. If the computer is unable to detect your iOS device, so you have to put it into the recovery mode to get it detected. And here is the method showing on the screen for putting the iOS device into the recovery mode. So simply select your iOS device model, uh, select your device type and follow the method shown on the screen uh, to start putting your iPhone into the recovery mode. It is just a volume and home button trick. Uh, so if you have an iPad or iPod, so check the description of this video for a guide to put the iPad or iPod into the recovery mode. So now connect your iOS device and follow the method shown on the screen to put it into the recovery mode. If you fail on your first try, so try it again. Now go ahead and here you will see the download button. It will start download the latest iOS version firmware package which will help us to factory resets our iOS device and also update uh, it to the latest iOS version. Now tap on the download button and now wait for it to complete the downloading process. It may take time to download the file depends on your internet speed because it is about 3 GB file. Keep your iOS device connected. After the download finish, it will going to start repairing your iOS device. It takes about 7 to 10 minutes. During this process, make sure that your computer is connected with the internet. If you are having any kind of error, so try to connect the iPhone on different USB ports of your computer or change the USB cable. I recommend you to use original Apple Lightning data cable to avoid any kind of errors. As you can see guys, my iPhone is back. It is showing up the hello screen and now we just need to set up our iOS device. It is simple to set up. Uh, you just need to select your country, language, network, set a new passcode and all of these things. As you can see guys, my iPhone is back to the normal mode. This is how you can fix disabled or forgotten passcode iOS devices using the PassFab software.
So I've shown you both of these methods, iTunes method, PassFab methods. I hope it will work for you. So for more details, please check out the description of this video. And do not forget to like, share and comment the video. For more amazing video, do subscribe my YouTube channel, join the perks or support my channel at Patreon. See you later in the next video.